morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you had a terrific weekend and looking forward to a pleasant day. A lot of stuff going on in the wider world. A lot of points to cover. Gold trading around 1660. Don't be surprised to see gold trading in excess of 1725 this week, what with the European dithering. Uh, it seems quite clear now that uh, Mitt Romney will be the Republican nominee. Uh, the rest of the field, uh, I'm not going to describe them as dwarves or anything like that, but uh, Romney's inevitability arises from the fact that, unsurprisingly, for the nominee of a major party, you know, he's the person who's most appealing to the most number of people. And he's also almost everybody's second choice. Everybody else is coming up short. Um, I also think it'll be interesting once people start to investigate uh, <clears throat> Herman Cain's activities, both as a lobbyist and his relationship with the Koch brothers. Um, and I think that'll have an effect of deflating his balloon, balloon somewhat. Secondly, uh, we haven't talked about this in a long time, but the pension debacle is upon us. It looks like the entire state of Rhode Island may well uh, go bankrupt due to its uh, pension liabilities. But Rhode Island is just a harbinger. Uh, there will be serious problems in virtually every state in the United States because everybody, well, people in the business know that um, pension unfunded liability is an enormous problem. And it's a much worse problem now that stock market performance has declined dramatically and that interest rates have gone down so much. It takes an extraordinary manager to even get 8% in this particular economy. So much less people assuming that they're going to get 8% and doing not much about ensuring that they do get 8%. Household debt fell by $1.1 trillion, or down 8.6% in the last uh, quarter. And as a consequence, we're pointing out to you that this is a sign that people are becoming savers rather than spenders. People are paying off bills rather than rolling them out and extending them. And while that's very, very good, uh, it means very, very good behavior on the part of people. It means that the uh, depressive effects on the economy are going to be exacerbated because people aren't buying stuff by and large. Uh, the, it turns out, interestingly enough, when we speak of Europe, that the European Community Bank in itself, or the European Central Bank, is actually a big debtor on Greek bonds. So uh, one can only wonder what the effect of that is on the unwillingness uh, to take big haircuts, which increasingly becomes necessary. The Germans, of course, don't want to bail out French banks, because that's really what this is about. French banks are huge buyers of Greek debt. A bunch of French banks are going to go under uh, unless the Germans are willing to bail them out. And the irony here is the only country in Europe that has actually done what Europeans, what the Euro and the ECB wanted done, is Germany. Everybody else has simply used the uh, success of Germany as a way of continuing their own bad habits. Uh, lastly, uh, I, there was analysis over the weekend that I was struck with, because I agree with it, uh, that uh, China is actually in a pre, where the U.S. was five or six years ago. The Chinese government is trying like stink to make sure that there isn't a huge crash landing, and they're going to do everything in their power to prevent that. The effect of that will be the same as here. In other words, there's going to be a crash in China. It's going to be much bigger and have a much more prolonged effect than anything else. And when there's a crash in China, that's definitely going to have an effect on us in much bigger ways than the European situation. So, this is Arnie Waters, lots of food for thought for today. Aim for the ice flows, not for the open water. Look for a good trading week on gold, and enjoy the day. Keep swinging.